Living consciously is the first step in raising self-esteem. It is the process of raising the awareness of your actions, experiences, and reality. And this in itself has the general effect of improving your outlook on life and your overall sense of control of the world around you. When you're living consciously, you are more in control of yourself and the way you navigate through life. This leads you to make more profitable decisions for your beneficial outcome. The initial waking up is the most difficult part of living consciously. It's this awakening that drives your attention to the present moment. When we break out of our go-with-the-flow, mechanical way of living, we begin to connect with being alive much more. You are awake to being alive. Your attention towards this acknowledges gratitude for this gift of consciousness. Living consciously means accepting your reality and learning ways to let go of your own limits. You actively use your faculties to participate in life to the best of your ability. You care to make each moment meaningful, valuable, and experienced. There's a savoring of the passing moment that takes place. So many people sleepwalk through existence. They become hypnotized from the pace and rhythm of civilization and culture. It's easy to lose yourself in the minutia of modern life and forget that we are all floating along, living on a speck that orbits through infinite space. This brief gift of consciousness will be over before we even know what to make of it. Living consciously requires that you define what a conscious existence even means. What is consciousness? I think of consciousness as being aware of reality. Living consciously means behaving in the most beneficial way possible for your own experience as well as the experience of others. At its most basic level, living consciously has evolved from competitive evolution. Your mind is working towards survival and remains present in your experiences to protect itself and sustain living. However, we humans are the only species on the planet that have the ability to think abstractly. We can envision who we are outside of our direct experience. We can think about circumstances and the consequences of our actions without actually executing these actions in the present moment. We can look back at ourselves and adjust future behavior to correct where we've gone wrong. Abstract thinking is the expansion that allows us to change our physical world around us and act upon ideas that are iteratively developed. It's the reason why we're aware that we even have self-esteem. Because of this incredible complication, living consciously demands much more from us than surface-level survival. We seek awareness and knowing our own truth. In order to do this, we must pay attention. When you start becoming aware of the present moment, you choose to focus and achieve. You are making a choice to do more than just exist. You are choosing to learn and grow from your surroundings and place in time. You live mindfully. The mind is our most basic tool of survival. It deserves our respect and acknowledgement. Ignore the mind and self-esteem suffers. Living consciously means more than seeing and knowing. It means taking action on what you consciously want to. All else is a betrayal and denial of yourself. When you mentally live in the present, you will be more likely to take beneficial action in the present. You have the opportunity to take the time and prepare the time to do things differently. Living consciously improves your circumstances. When you don't listen to your heart and don't act from an authentic place in the moment, you are sweeping your conscious beliefs under the rug and minimizing your contribution to the world. Whether you realize it or not, this has a diminishing effect on your self-esteem and it will weaken your ability 
to act from a confident mindset when opportunities arise in the future. That's why it's so important to be an active participant in life rather than a passive participant. It's important to create goals and strive for what you desire every single day. The mere act of taking action towards what you want is an affirmation of your worth to attain it. It's possible you've been a passive person for much of your life without even realizing it. Perhaps you consider yourself easygoing. Maybe when someone tries to make plans with you, you divert the choice of where to eat or what to do to the other person. This subtle habit of indifference is self-sabotaging. It allows you to avoid your true desires and put the responsibility of caring onto someone else. Make it a point to know your true beliefs. Listen to your intuition to determine what you truly seek to experience and convey. Noticing impulses of emotion and working to explore these feelings is a good start. Living consciously is fueled by passion and a deep caring for different things. What you care for will be unique to you, but it's often highlighted by the virtues that are prominent within you. If you walk around with a sense of gratitude for family and friends, you'll desire to expand your experiences around these people. If you care about your business or your physique, you plan your day around the participation in activities which grow the health of these endeavors. Living consciously isn't easy. It's much easier to lose focus and carry on mentally according to whatever momentum you find yourself in. Living consciously means persevering through failure in search of the truth. By failure, I mean your failure to properly acknowledge the present moment. You're going to have times where your eyes glaze over. You may feel lazy. You may feel like wasting time in front of the television or contributing to habits that you know aren't good for you. When this happens, don't despair. It's the snapping out of this routine, the waking up, where the magic happens. When you transition from passively living to actively pursuing the moment, you build the mental muscle of living consciously. When this change happens, life becomes so much more interesting. You begin to want to understand the world around you. And this has the consequence of listening to others more intently and thereby being received by others better. You begin thinking more intently about the consequences of your actions. You begin thinking about how you affect others. You also begin thinking about how you are affected by others and how you can improve your responses. You start paying more attention to your relationships, goals, and activities. Life becomes malleable. And you realize that by controlling your actions and thoughts in the present moment, you subsequently affect the following moment where you can also take action by living consciously. Soon you'll be addicted to the chain reaction of positive momentum that you build moment by moment. Now here's some great ways to form the habit of living consciously so that this waking up epiphany is continually triggered in your mind. Keep a diary of goals. Start by creating a list of goals. Having three goals is typically a good place to start. For the sake of this exercise, your goals can apply to anything, be it financial, health, relationships, self-development, so long as it is somehow measurable. For example, if you want to set a goal for exercising, it could be that you will be able to max bench press your body weight within six months. That's a measurable goal. Next, start outlining the steps required to achieve your goal. You're going to reverse engineer the achievement of the goal by defining the activities that will get you there. So, for example, if you're going to be able to max bench press your body weight in six months, you'd want to work out four times a week and have a special diet plan in place to support your muscle gains. These activities, diet and exercise, can also be measured and tracked. You're going to create three or more goals to work towards over a certain period of time that you will define. The achievement of these goals 
is measurable, so there won't be any ambiguity as to their completion. Next, you'll start becoming aware every day as to whether or not your present activity is working towards any of your defined goals. And as you begin to live more consciously, you'll gain a new awareness of where your time is spent and how it is contributing to your greater good. You want to take on a mindset where you recognize the opportunity of each passing moment as a way to take action towards your goals or do nothing at all. Next, you'll want to try meditation. Meditation will slow you down and shake your mind out of the routine of aimlessly taking action without thinking. Recent research determines that it takes 21 consecutive days of repetition to form a habit. However, habits have no concern as to whether or not they are good for you. They are simply patterns formed into your brain through constant repetition. When you're more aware of your thoughts and actions in the moment, you can steer the direction of these patterns to serve you much better. Meditation has the benefit of cultivating focus and patience. You can meditate by sitting upright in a quiet spot for 10 to 20 minutes a day, closing your eyes and focusing on the breath. Simply spend 20 minutes, you can set your phone alarm with your eyes closed, breathing in and out. Focus only on your breathing. As you inhale, focus on taking in the air, and as you exhale, focus on letting it go. As distracting thoughts pop up in your mind, you'll want to catch yourself and return to your focus on the breath. This practice trains your brain to hone in on your specific attention. It teaches you to stop being carried away by distraction and frivolous diversions. When you meditate consistently, you build a powerful discipline that can be attained in no other way. This translates into living more consciously by bringing about a new awareness where you can quiet your mind and be more in touch with the present moment. Another way to improve living consciously is to make use of your five senses. When you're out and about during the day, take mini breaks at times to recognize the stimulus of each of your five senses. For example, when you're in the supermarket, pause for just a moment to take inventory of your surroundings, the sounds, the sights, the smells, Take them all in. Become aware of the taste in your mouth and the feel of your skin. Are you cold, warm, or comfortable? Do you have an itch on your skin? Do you feel sleepy or wide awake? What is the brightness of the room? Are your feet tired? Do you feel strong and alert? I like to call this kind of exercise an inventory check. You're taking inventory of your five senses physically. Then you're recognizing the mental associations with the different stimulus you interpret. It's a simple and convenient way to raise awareness. Much like meditation, this cultivates the habit of bringing the present moment into focus. You disrupt the process of getting lost in abstract thought. Continual learning is another way to raise your ability to live consciously. Each passing moment is a gift, and making the most of that gift is the greatest gesture of self-respect you can make. Be aware of your truth. Learn who you are. Seek balance. Schedule your day. Write down goals and tasks. Use a timer and keep an eye on where your time is spent. Change cannot happen without the acceptance of what is. When you live consciously, your eyes are open to the reality of what is and what is not. You must be awake in order for circumstantial improvement to take place. Know that it is never too late. For every new instance in time, you are reborn into the person you want to be. Take action and be that person you envision. 
you can start right now in this moment.